Welcome to Piggy Power. Well, in this review of this RT Battery 101 Top Don battery tester. Uh, it's available on Amazon for $42.99, but you get a 10% voucher, which is pretty cool. Um, it claims to tell you what's wrong with your car battery. Battery test, charging test, cranking test. Uh, supposedly, it works with all types of 12 volt batteries, from very little ones to really big ones. Some basic instructions. Um, I'd say it's not badly translated. Let's have a look. So, let's open this up and have a look what we got inside. I presume it only turns on once we've connected to the battery, so we're going to test it on a battery that we have here, which is not connected to a vehicle. So let's do that. Got some nice teeth in there. That's quite good. It's quite nice quality, that. And it has turned on, which is good. Um, that's nice. So it's telling me the voltage straight away. Okay. Ah, here we go. Battery test. Regular flooded, is it? Uh, so you're choosing your type of battery. Okay, I think it's a regular. CCA, CA input. I don't know what that means. It's 480 CCA, according to the battery on the side. Testing. So I just read the, the side of there. Good battery, healthy. Okay, that's quite cool. So it tells me it's a good battery, apparently. Got 369 CCA. I don't actually know what all this means, but basically also it has reduced in its cold cranking amps. Or maybe they lied. Okay, let's go and test this on a battery cranking. Why don't we do that? Okay, so let's unplug it. Okay, so we're going to do a cranking test this time. Start engine. So I've got 30 seconds to start the engine. So let's start the engine. Started the engine. It was testing. So cranking low, apparently. That's interesting. Okay. Let's verify that with a second test, shall we? That was easy to use, I've got to admit. So it says cranking voltage dropped to that voltage during that period of time. And really you don't want the voltage to drop, well, you don't want it to drop particularly 12, really. It's a cold engine. That's an easy test to do. Yeah, so that's twice over. Okay, well, that's interesting, very interesting. So now it's running. Let's do a coal, uh, so a cranking test done. Let's do a charging test. Please start the engine, press OK to continue. Ooh, look at that. Fancy. Increase RPM, two and a half thousand RPM, keep it five seconds, press OK to continue. Oh, we can do that here actually. Let's try that again. Okay, so it doesn't give you very long to do that one. So that's the loaded testing. Increase RPM. Charging normal. Good. Well, that's good, isn't it? It's charging normally. Sweet. Okay, let's turn that noise off. And as a final test, why don't we just do a battery test as the cranking was low. Let's go with the same rating. Voltage too high, remove service charge, turn on the headlights. That's interesting. Okay, so it says the voltage is too high. So we turn on the headlights, press OK, testing. Oh, 
Oh, that's nice instructions. I really like that. So it's saying that its cranking amps is down, the charging is healthy, but it suggests I replace it because of the health of the battery. Now that doesn't surprise me, I have to admit. Um, even though the little symbol says green on the top there, I've had the car for nearly five years and this battery was in there when I bought it. So I'm not surprised at that. Um, accurate, I like it. That is a lovely bit of kit. I'll tell you what, I know it seems expensive for its size, but it's nice sometimes when something is small so that you haven't got to faff around with something massive in your drawer or in your workshop. You can grab that out of a little drawer. Works great. I, I actually, I'm surprised. When I was sent this to review, I thought it would be absolute tat. But it's all right, I like that. That is a keeper. So what is it? We're 10% off, about 38 quid. Great little workshop tool. And um, it could save you some money because if you're going to replace a battery these days, that's probably about 120 pounds, 100 pounds maybe, depending on where you go. Um, but maybe your charging system isn't right, or maybe you've got a drawer somewhere. Good little test of that. I like it. I like it. Thanks for watching this review. I'm going to do some other reviews. So check out on the bleep bloops and thanks for watching. <laughs>